Okay. So I'm good to go now, right? Okay. Let's get this started then. Okay, my name is Fierce Q, and I'm gonna be attempting uh, to run Pokemon Stadium 2. For those that don't know about Pokemon Stadium 2, just like any other Pokemon uh, game, this one is full of surprises. So, I have done a lot of practicing to make sure this run goes smoothly. But if you ever seen this game before, um, there's a lot of things that that can go wrong. So the reason why we do um, let me talk about a little bit about this run. The reason why we do the gym leaders in um, in scramble order or like in different orders is because of how how likely some runs are to uh to die to some gyms because of how chaotic they are like misty so that's why we do misty first uh to ensure that the run goes smoothly we do the hardest usually the hardest gyms first right and uh for this run for the most part that means like the canto uh gyms <clears throat> yeah, if you don't know much about uh, Gen 2 in Pokemon, uh, in Pokemon uh, Silver, Gold and Silver, you actually do two set of gyms. You do like the normal Johto, which is like the main core of the game, and then you do Kanto, which is uh, which is Gen 1's like uh, gym leaders. So this run can be pretty long in comparison to uh, a lot of other runs, but, but it, it's fine. It's only like about two hours, right? <laughs> so this is not going well. I literally would add would I prefer that he use anybody but Polar World? But I think it's fine. Because when uh, Pokemon does Rain Dance, Thunder essentially becomes a guaranteed Shad. So now he's out of here. <laughs> More than likely gonna be some Flora, right? Oh no, it's Gold Duck. This is even better, actually. So Gold Duck has like the the tendency to survive Thunder, and he just did right there. And it's fine because um, well, actually, <laughs> I didn't know he would do that. But I have a setup for that, so I can not actually get hit by uh, by Dig. So I'm safe here. Normally in the actual speedrun of the game, you want Gold Duck to start. Uh, but obviously, since this is a marathon, I don't have the luxury of uh, of just resetting until Gold Duck just shows up. So we're just doing what we can with what we have, right? So this is interesting. Starmie being last is definitely not good, so I'm just gonna hyper beam her and then just let Firo die. Oh, and I crit him actually, so bye bye. <laughs> I got really lucky there. Well, if you don't know, in this game, and obviously with Rain Dance and Firo being a flying type Pokemon, that's a guarantee one shot. 
So uh, I got really lucky there getting a crit. Hopefully I get a lot of those and I don't get critted as much. Because that seems to be a... A very common occurrence for me. Uh, Brock is a lot... If I was, like I said, if I was doing attempts of the game, like world record attempts, like... Misty Brock and Blue would be... Uh, you know, like, very easily Brock. Brock on a marathon, uh, aspect, uh, is not that... That volatile. He mostly has rock type Pokemons, as you know, but he also does have uh, a few other options that he can use against me. And that's why we're gonna have some sort of backup strat. Although, he did Kabutops, which is exactly what I would normally um, go against if I was doing normal runs. So, Kabutops does ancient power. He goes, he does go before Venusaur. It's fine for the most part, but sometimes he can get his special up from that ancient power, and then it will require me to uh, hit him again to kill him. But other than that, he should be, for the most part, a one hit kill. One turn kill. Yeah, Omastar. Usually you go see their Omastar or Golem after. Either are fine. As long as Kabutops start, uh, everything that comes out after is, is just fine. And he always has on it, so the last one is on it. On it has a quick claw, which is supposed to be like, I don't know, like. 10% chance of happening. I swear it happens to me every time. There you go. <laughs> it happens to me at least 90% of the time. I'm just, at this point, I'm just past it. He's always gonna hit it. <laughs> Rock was pretty smooth otherwise. So now that we're done with Brock, the next uh, gym leader I'm gonna attempt to uh, get past through is Blue. Am I, I might explain to you guys why I'm so scared of Blue. We're gonna use Sim 3 for that. Blue, um, he usually starts with Alakazam, and that's exactly what I want him to do. But there are instances and like i said i don't know maybe i'm the unluckiest person in the world but he tends to like not want to start with alakazam for me and even if he um if he starts with alakazam uh there's a small chance that he might crit me and if he does that it's, it's not good. <laughs> well, let's just hope I don't. Okay, I didn't get credit. We're good. So, he goes, he does Psychic. I counter him with Mirror Code and he's just dead. The ideal Pokemon for this one is Arcanine. I sure hope he brings them out. <laughs> oh, it's Gyarados. oh, this... Gyarados is actually the worst thing that could happen to you here. But in a marathon run, it's, it's fine. It's just gonna be really, like, a last lower. Why? Because he takes them... Unless I poison him, it'll take me four turns to kill him. And I got critted, but it's it's a water type Pokemon, so it's good to get all those crits out of the way early, right? 
and he was poisoned, so it's gonna take like about three turns. He's taking damage because of the poison. I should be able to kill him by this turn. And I think the last Pokemon he's bringing is Rhydon. Or at least I sure hope so. <laughs> It could be at Secutor. Okay, this is fine. Rhydon actually gets one shotted by Tentacruel's Bubble Beam. So this is ideal here. And we're done with blue. I can breathe. <laughs> I was actually pretty nervous and I practiced the most against this guy because he's the most volatile besides Misty, but Misty's the first gym leader, so it's fine, but blue like I get credited by blue so much that's why I was so scared, but turn out just fine okay, so let me talk to you about Erica, which is gonna be the next one. Erica herself is not like the hardest gym leader that you could fight in this game but she has something interesting that no one else has and is that all her pokemons can sleep you so missing is not an option here erica of the celadon gym a trainer of grass type pokemon don't let her graceful demeanor fool you she'll be greeting the challenger with a stable of tough pokemon so generally what i want here is tangela and I'll explain to you guys why, if I do get her. And I did. So, Tangela is gonna switch now to Vaporeon. And I want to get Vaporeon out of the game as soon as possible. Right now, if I could. So I'm gonna explode on Vaporeon. There are instances where he survives this explosion. Uh, but it's fine if he does, which he did. <laughs> yes, it's going down. So things can get a little scary here. So now that Vaporeon, uh, since Vaporeon survived, oh, it's yeah, well, other than the fact that I, I, it's gonna take me an extra turn to kill him, the next two Pokemons can't sleep me and, you know. If it was a normal setting, it would it could potentially ruin my run. Because uh Tangela has Quick Claw, just like Onyx did in Brock's Gym Leader. Uh and that could be really bad. Another fun fact, uh she always uh, brings Velosum. Velosum is the guaranteed Pokemon for this gym leader. And I seem to have never critted Blossom. It's gonna take two turns. It usually takes two turns. She tries to always sleep me, and it works. But I actually have an item to to deal with that, so I'm fine. But the problem with that is, is that Tangelag has Quick Claw, right? And she's gonna try to sleep me as well. It doesn't usually happen, like I usually do go first, but if Quick Claw does activate here, then she's gonna put me to sleep, unless she misses, which is definitely a, a possibility. Well, it didn't work, so she's just gonna get one shotted by Ice Punch here, and a crit that, that's useless, but it's okay. And we're done with Erica.
Okay, the next one I'm gonna do is Surge. Surge can also be quite unforgivable. And it's just because of one Pokemon he has, it's Lantern. Um, he honestly doesn't bring him out that much, but you obviously gotta be ready for that if he does. Um, the reason why Lantern is such a big deal is because Earthquake, right? It's a two hit. But I have Hunter for Lantern just in case. But you generally want Electro to start here. And he did, so. What we're gonna do here. We're gonna swap to Diglett. Because he's gonna self destruct. So we're gonna sacrifice Diglett. And get rid of Electrode. Because you really don't want to lose uh, Pulse Line. He's the MVP of this uh, gym leader. So we're gonna bring him back. Hopefully, he brings someone like Electabuzz or something. Yeah, there you go. Okay, this is uh, optimal here. So far, anyways. So now I'm just gonna spam Earthquake. Pokemon appears with a cross. Two Pokemon remain on each side. There's the attack. Oh, uh, and we got credit, but it's all good. I love that I'm getting credited in situations that he won't kill me. Because it can definitely... Like, crits are very deadly here, especially in Kanto. So, this is not... Good. <laughs> He's gonna surf. In Pokemon Stadium, you know, Pikachu and Raichu have Surf. I just hope I survive this. And I didn't, but it's fine. That crit definitely uh, put me in a very tough situation. I do have Hunter. And what I can do with Hunter is I can just... Oh, actually, no, I shouldn't do that. This is... I actually misplayed here. Um... I think... I have to do this one over. <laughs> Just because I got critted. Uh, that was really unfortunate. And I was just talking about how getting credit was not that bad. He actually turned out to be terrible. But it's all good. For the most part, that went okay. I hope he goes like that again. So we're gonna, like, just redo it. The good thing about the Kanto uh, gyms is that you can just re-enter them. It's not like the Johto ones. It's like if you play Pokemon Stadium 1, um... You obviously have to go through three trainers first before you get to the gym leader. Um, for Kanto, you just fight them. They're just uh, solo gym leaders. Uh, if that would have happened in Johto, I would have been a lot more upset, but... In Kanto, this is uh, very likely to happen. I just can't believe it. It didn't happen in, like, Blue. It didn't happen in... In, uh, in Erika, but it happened in Surge. So, okay, same thing. Electrode. We're gonna switch to Diglett. We're gonna sacrifice. And I'm gonna take a sip of my tea. While this happens. Oh, 
crushing blow. It went down as soon as the battle started. Unbelievable! They both go down. We're gonna bring Power Swine again, and hopefully, I don't. Well, he brought Electabuzz again. So this is good. I just seriously hope I don't get critted. Okay, we're good now. I don't think uh, Surge can do anything to kill me now. Unless he brings out Lantern, which I don't think he will, but... Okay, Rachel again. But this time I got I have the health. I have the health to like uh, tank his surf, right? But I can still get critted. Okay, we're good. And that's done with search. That took a long time, but it's good. It's all good. That's it. Clear. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is Sabrina. Sabrina, uh, fun fact Sabrina always starts with Alakazam. It's a guaranteed uh, that she's gonna, it's guaranteed that she's gonna start with Alakazam. So. We do have strats for that, but guess what? Just like with blue, um, Alakazam can definitely uh, create you and ruin the run. Like I said, uh, it doesn't happen a lot, but if you run this game, if you do a lot of attempts, it will become more like common than you think. But this game, if you try to go for the best time, it's a very unforgiving game. I actually been running this game for like two years and I didn't get a good run. Or like a run that I was like very proud of until like two years after I started. So okay, so Alakazam always starts with Future Sight. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do Rain Dance because I obviously can't do anything. Because I'm gonna try to Mirror Code him just like I did with Blue. So we're gonna set up Rain Dance just in case I need Magneton later. Okay, he's gonna Psychic. Hopefully no crit. Okay, we're good. So Alakazam is out of here. Okay, so I definitely want like Mr. Mime here. Well, Hypno is fine too, as long as he's not a fairy. Okay, so we're gonna self destruct and then we're gonna bring up Hunter to kill. To clean up the second Pokemon. Then I'll explain what we do next while when I get there. The future side is gonna hit me here, which is actually good. And I'll explain to you guys why. Two Pokemon remain on each side. Wow, so Hunter is very good in Pokemon Stadium 2. Because of Destiny Bond. You'll see me using Destiny Bond quite often in this run. And since I'm hurt, it's gonna become 
much easier to pull or much quicker to pull the destiny bond so this is like fine i would have preferred mr mime honestly but but this is just fine he's gonna do sidekick here and kill me or surf i guess <laughs> He crit me, but it doesn't matter here. And uh, Sabrina's done. That's it. In Sabrina is my favorite uh, gym leader. She's pretty cool. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is Blaine. Blaine, it will be, uh, in my opinion, the easiest one out of all the cancel ones. But there are things, some things that scare me. We'll see. Let's hope it, they don't happen. So, like, if he brings out nine cells, uh, he can potentially end my run if he burns me. Which is very unlikely, but... Like I said, it has happened before, so... Like, everything... Every... Uh, worst... Uh, like, scenario possible in this game has happened to me. I'm like the census eyes at this point. So... He always starts with Rapid Dash. He does have... Uh, a water type Pokemon, and how we find out if he has him if he swaps out now, that means that uh, artillery is coming out. Um, if if he doesn't swap out Rapidash, which is uh, very unlikely, he usually always swaps out. Uh, it means that he only has fire type Pokemons, and it makes it so much easier for me. Well, fun fact, Artillery has Focus Band. What Focus Band does is, like, it makes you uh, survive uh, an otherwise, like, killing move and leave you at 1%. But even if that would have happened, Weezing is faster than Artillery, so I would have killed him anyways. Okay, so Ninetales did come out, right? So, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna self-destruct. Ninetales does go first, and he's gonna... Or, she's gonna fire blast. But she missed, so I, I think we're in the clear, guys. What I was scared is like that that fire blast has a potential of, of burning me. If he did burn me, that would mean that he will survive the explosion. And then I would like literally have to pray for Ninetales to miss the the Fire Blast that... Not Ninetales, sorry, uh, Rapidash. To miss the Fire Blast to not, like, not kill me. But since I'm full health, I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so we're done for uh, with Kanto for now. We have to come back later at the end of the game uh, to finish the run. But for now, we're gonna go do the Elite Four, which is a quite scary uh, part of the run. Probably the scariest one, honestly. Especially like Will. Okay, so like the reason I'm scared of Will is because he has a Clefable and Clefable is like the bane of my existence in Spoke. This is why I don't run Pokemon Stadium 1 anymore. Because of a Pokemon like Clefable. Whoa! Following the challenger's victories over the 
But Pokemon Stadium 1 is a lot. Believe me when I tell you that it's a lot more volatile than this game. Okay, so here at Will, we're hoping we don't get credited here, just like Sabrina and, and Blue. So he's gonna sidekick, hopefully I don't get critted. Okay, we're good. He still... Okay, so this is fine. But he, there's still a chance that he has Clefable and he could definitely ruin my run. Let's just hope he doesn't. So, Giraffe is fine. We're gonna self destruct again. And then we're gonna clean up with Fero. Just one Pokemon remains. Oh, it's Fero! It's down to the last Pokemon now. One Pokemon faces two now. Ow! Drill Pack! Right! That's a hit! Okay, let's hope for no Clefable. It's more than likely we'll bring him though. And um that could be a problem because Clefable has Thunder. Oh there she is. This is the last Pokemon. It's just one on one now. What's next? Great hit. Well, we gotta hope she misses this. Didn't. A hot battle is unfolding. Okay, so now we gotta pray that this hyper beam hits just because Clefable is just like you gotta hope it kills. He didn't. And, and that's it, I'm dead. <laughs> Unfortunately. Will is it's just because of that Pokemon right there. <laughs> Quite unfortunate turn of events here. But, on the bright side, if we get past Will, there's not really a lot of things that can happen. Um, except for... Um, except for uh, Karen. So if we can just get... If we can just get out of Will, like, I think it'll be smooth for the most part. And Will is only really a problem because of Clefable. But you know, you still gotta worry about getting critted by Saru here, right? Happen. A massive explosion. Serious damage. Whoa, that was fast. It's down already. Oh, my, it's a double knockout. Most Pokemon think it simultaneously. This was a whole new spin on the battle. Oh, it's Voltor! Oh, it's Clefable! Well, Clefable... Two Pokémon remain hmm. on each side. Sparks are flying from both teams. 
I'm gonna thunder her. And hope it hits. Okay, we're good. So if Fable being second is actually like fine. Because now I don't have to worry about her like, you know killing Firo. Actually, this is quite tough for me. I'm gonna have to hyper beam her because she didn't take that much damage because I was burned. I don't know what the last Pokemon can. I think it's a Tekutor. Oh, okay. Well, she's gonna. Well, this could be a problem for sure. And I got killed. <laughs> really unfortunate. Like really, really unfortunate. Really unfortunate turn of events here. I can't. This is this is really bad. Like I said, uh, Clefable, man. Uh, this is, uh, Will is actually, like, in my, you know, my common attempts or, like, my normal attempts. Will is usually the one that ends my run here. It's just because of that one Pokemon. Like, you know, I got fire blasted and I got burned, like, it's like things are definitely not going my way. That's Pokemon luck for you. But if we can get out of here, it will be great. Like, once we get past the the Elite Four, the rest of the game is, is like smooth sailing in comparison. There are things that can, like, um, potentially ruin your run, but it's like, it's way less chaotic. And he keeps bringing the same Pokemons down, and I still have to, like, Worry about getting credit here. There's the shot. It didn't happen. Thank you. But it's still like pretty bad. A massive explosion. That's a major Whoa, okay, he's that's dead. It's down already. Unbelievable. They both go down. Well, the second Pokemon is honestly gonna make it or break it for me. Oh, it's Clefable, it's Clefable again. <laughs> Two Pokemon remain on each yeah, he's gonna Fire Blast me and burn me. I'm gonna Mirror Code him, actually. Just to... Just to, oh, get her. Sorry, it's a female. Get her out of here. I'm honestly tired of this Pokemon. And I'm gonna thunder. I know it's a risk, but I have to get her out of here. <laughs> there you go. Good job. I think there's nothing that can, like, prevent me from killing him now. Well, 
I'm getting crits when they like don't matter. But if I would have gotten something like this in a run, in an in an attempt, that would be that would be crazy. Oh my! It's a double. Too bad it took me a third try for that though. And there goes the battle. Okay, finally we're out of there. That was quite a climb. Okay, so Koga isn't really that... Koga is probably the easiest one out of all of this here. Uh, the Elite Four. But, you know... He has a uh, Venomoth that has Psychic, right? And he has a Golbat that will spam Detect. If I don't kill him. So there are things to worry about. Just not a lot of things. More like Will, anyways. Okay, so... Where Electro is gonna try to double team. And that could be bad, because that means that I could potentially, uh... Miss his ex explosion. And I did. Of course I did. It's the first time I ever missed that, by the way. The number of remaining Pokemon is two to three. So we're gonna go bolt over and we're gonna attempt to hit him again. And hopefully this time it works. Thank you. Get out of here. Now we're gonna attempt to finish the the rest of the fight with Kadabra. Double team again. Actually, that's fine. As long as, as I don't take any damage, it's fine. I just need to get him out of there because he he does go first. Like Electro is the fastest Pokemon in the game, so. Okay, so Venomoth is a two-hit. Unless I crit him right now, uh, it will take me two hits to oh, kill him. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. But as long as he keeps doing double team, it's fine. It's better than dying to him. That's for sure. Come on, man. It increased its evasiveness. One Pokemon is still capable of going up. But the other one looks tired. What's next? Oh, that's it's just not gonna hit, huh? <laughs> ah, it raised its evasiveness. There's a big HP Oh, fun fact, Venomoth has focus band, so there's a chance that he could survive even wow. if I kill him here. Oh my I just can't hit him. <laughs> this is not good. I just need to get him out of here. Like, obviously, if this was a normal attempt, I would have reset it already, but... There you go. He, he hung on with Focus Band. Okay, 
I was just talking about how Koga doesn't have a lot of things to be scared about, and it's like that didn't go well at all. <laughs> I kind of jinxed myself there. Okay, now he's out of here, finally. So the net, the last one could be even uh, Ariados or Golbat. Ariados is, I say Ariados, Ariados is probably the optimal one here. Because it's a one hit KO. Okay, that didn't go well, but at least we're out of here without dying, right? Wow, that was painful. Hey Bruno, there's a lot of uh, different kind of Pokemons he can bring here. He usually does start with Heracross. Or the highest uh, probability is for him to start with him. Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay, he didn't switch. What's the opening game? So that's good. So, uh, it's surviving is fine. I'm gonna go Hunter and finish him up with Giga Drain. Or Shadow Ball, whichever. Anything is fine. Oh, wait. No, I messed up. I actually just like wasn't thinking and it, I just hit C up. I was supposed to do Giga Drain, but it's okay. It's so hard to like retain all information in this game because of how long it is and you know all the information you have to have and um and all the different scenarios you gotta be ready for. So we're gonna have Destiny Bond Machamp here. It's trying to take the opponent with it. Because he's gonna earthquake me and kill me. So I'm gonna punish him by taking him down with me. It's taking its opponent down with it. Now we're gonna attempt to finish this with uh, Kadabra. Kadabra is the goat. This is the last Pokemon. Kadabra is the goat of uh of the Elite Four. Oh, it's Kadabra! It's down to the last Pokemon now. It's just one on one now. Whoa! Of course he did. This showdown appears to be coming to an end. A psychic blast. Oh, that's a miss. A sharp attack. Great hit. They're both hanging tough. Will this decide it? 
Okay, now we're out of there. Okay, so Karen. Karen is is quite scary. Karen is quite scary because she has an Umbreon that can quick claw me and cur or crit me. So there's that. And that can potentially like ruin my run. And now the challenger faces Karen, the last of the elite four. Will the challenger be able to thwart her dark type Pokemon and take sweet victory? Okay, so this she always starts with Umbreon, right? So uh, we're gonna do here is we're gonna bring out Firo specifically because she's always gonna do Confuse right here. And now we're gonna go Hunter and hope that she does not hurt me. Uh, okay. Okay, we we got past one thing, but I can still get quick claw here. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, that was so scary. <laughs> this Pokemon is so scary. Well, I got it there. Good thing it happened when he didn't matter anymore. Okay, for Magmar, we're gonna bring the goat, Kadabra. Oh, it's Kadabra! Two Pokemon remain on each side. And hopefully I crit them here. <laughs> There's the shot! That inflicted some damage. There's the attack! It's super effective! Oh, that's not good. Okay, don't miss the thunder punch. That was a glancing blow. What's this? It's that is not good. <laughs> that is not They're something I wanted. Stuff. Oh no, with a pack. Oh my god. And then I get critted, man. Yes, it's going down. There's only one Pokemon left to come up. The Pokeball open. I think this is this is really bad. Pokemon now. Okay, he's done. Okay, so I think the last one is gonna be Murkrow. I have to. Oh, it's Big Triple. Never mind. Me getting. Me getting uh created by by this guy is definitely not something I wanted. Oh, he did it again. 
There has to be a, a thing where it's like, if you do this twice, like, it has a less chance of, like, hitting or something. Of course I will get critted. If he doesn't attack here, I'm doomed. <laughs> okay. That was bad, but I, at least we got out of there, right? Okay, time for Lance. I'm actually surprised I got past the uh, Magmar with Fero. Essentially, the last, uh, the last hill of the run, like everything else should be smooth after this. Okay, Tara and Tara. I'm gonna Destiny Bottom. So now we're gonna bring out Wobbuffet, and uh, hmm, let's see who is gonna bring out back. Dragonite, okay. I have to kill him here, or otherwise I'm gonna have to do like some adjustments to try to salvage this run. <laughs> I hope he doesn't miss, it has happened before. <laughs> like, for the first time ever, I want someone to actually hit me in this game. Okay, he's dead. We're good. Lance is surprisingly behaving, though. So now we're gonna Destiny Bonham. Wobba fed the goat. I honestly should I just counter him, but it's fine. I just want to get out of here. <laughs> okay, and now we're done with Elite Four. Yay! We're actually not done, but it's funny he mentions that. So now we're actually gonna do Johto, which is the first part of this game, but we're gonna do it just like in Pokemon Stadium 1, where you go from Giovanni down, right? We're gonna start from Claire, all the way down to like Faulkner.
I mean, I would say that other than Will, for obvious reasons, um, if you take Will out of the equation, the Elite Four wasn't really that bad. Awaiting the challenger are the members of Blackthorn Gym. The first battler is Gloria, a cool trainer. So, okay, so uh, like in the Johto portion of the game, you're more than likely gonna see me exploding like against everybody. They prepare for battle. Wow, no That's some major damage. Taken down with one hit. That was just too quick. Oh my, it's a double knockout! Now after uh, exploding, we're gonna go Abra and clean up. See who he brings out though, who she brings out. Oddish. So against Oddish, we're gonna Psychic. And against Ben and Ed, we're gonna Psychic as well and Pokemon should be done here. So same thing here, we're gonna start by self-destructing first. And then we're gonna bring Weezing and self-destruct again. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of Michael Bay scenarios here during the, uh, the rest of the run. Soundtrack of this game is so good. Two Pokemon remain on each side. So we're gonna self-destruct again, like I said. Oh, it blew up. What impressive impact. Then we're gonna finish with Abra again. Oh, it has Very similar fight. as the first fight, Gloria, but um oh my, in this one I self-destruct two times. But it's essentially like very similar scenarios. This puts a whole new spin on the battle. Oh, it's Abra! It's down to the last Pokemon now. Oh, it's Chikorita! This is the last Pokemon. Oh, okay, so Chikorita, I have to Ice Punch her. And it's a two hit kill though. Just hope I don't get paralyzed here. Oh, <laughs> well, there it is. Oh, 
Okay, but I, I actually attacked, so we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. Whoa, that was scary. I had... I have never seen it, like, happen like that. I'm for Claire. The challenger has finally made it to the final gym leader. So for Claire, we're gonna use our trusty Pokemon Wobbuffet. And we're gonna be countering and mirror coding everything. So because she started with Lapras, that's actually like not ideal. I have to swap oh, to Hunter. Oh, it's Hunter! Corrected its status using a held item. I was. It's like, I know I prepare myself for it, but seeing it anyways is like so scary. <laughs> bye bye, Lapras. So now we're gonna mirror coat. What's this? A light hit. Mirror coat. Oh, that's a miss. Oh man. The heated action continues. There's the attack. Hit that was good. What will it do? Okay, Kendra, you're not gonna get away with this one this time. Okay, so I have to let Wobbuffet die. Or, you know, this is fine too, actually. <laughs> it's fine to take Thought he was gonna kill me. There's a big HP difference between the two combatants. Serious outbreak! Yes, it's a hit! It took the opponent down with it! Oh, and down it goes! Okay, so now we're done with Claire.
The first opponent in line is the border, Alvin. <laughs> And after this, we're gonna go Voltorb and do it again. Or maybe Thunder, depending on who it is. If it's Kingler or Shoulder, I'm Thundering. If it's Mushum, uh, Flaffy, or Swinov, whatever, I don't know how to say that Pokemon. Then I self destruct. Or, or sealed too. I don't know if I mentioned that. Because he uses Endure, um, but it, it's fine. Don't think that's gonna help you much, bud. Or maybe you will actually. Oh, it didn't work. A shoulder is ideal here because I can one shot him with Thunder Punch. Same thing as uh, the last, I don't know, five gym, I mean, uh, trainers. We're gonna self destruct. And we're gonna see who he brings out next, who she brings out next. Sorry about that. So Cedra. Okay, so there's no rain dance here. I gotta sh pray that this thunder hits. And there it is. Thunder best move. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Almost killed me. Whoa! 
At least he hid. Get him out of there. Okay, so we're gonna blow up here. If I survive. And I did. That's great. So I'm not the only one missing. Wow. Just one on one now. There, Thunder Punch. Hey, okay, now we're done with Carol. That settles this battle. And there goes the battle. Something I want to point out to whoever's in interested in doing this run. Make sure you go on speedrun.com and look at the notes. Like, we, they have a pretty detailed... They have a pretty detailed uh, a notes uh, document that'll help you run this game. And have a lot of patience. Have a whole lot of patience. The run will come, I, I assure you. Okay, so he always starts with Dawn Fan here. What I want to do is counter him and pray that he dies. He didn't. So because he didn't die, I have to endure here. I had to do it anyway, so it's fine. It's just an extra turn. And now I'm just gonna reversal for the rest of the fight. So now, yeah, we're just gonna do a reversal for the rest of the fight here. And hopefully I don't die. I did die. <laughs> Huh. What should I do okay. here? Oh, it's hit on chat. Two Pokemon remain on each side. What that? It appears to be impervious to I damage. survived that. What will it do? The white hot battle continues. Brutal lock punch. Right, that's a hit. Oh, it has no strength left. There's only one Pokemon left to come up. Oh, it's Pilot Swine. This is the last Pokemon. Mark the flying from both competitors. Hang on, Earthquake! Great hit! There it is! Knockout! 
Huh. I don't know what to do here. I never got myself in this situation. I gotta think. Oh, we'll see. I think I'm dead. Will this do it? Yeah, I'm just dead. <laughs> that was really unfortunate that I didn't kill him. That's not good. I misplayed there though, like... I got a little confused because I... I don't think I ever seen Cloyster here. That's really bad. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I should have suspended before fighting that. I just didn't think that... That it was gonna get that bad, but now I know. Oof. That's really bad. Well, that's gonna make this run really slow now. Really unfortunate turn of events there. They prepare for battle. What's the opening damage? The hit lands right off. Last self destruct! A savage hit! Taken down with one hit! That was just too quick! Unbelievable! They both go down! Oh my, this is one wild situation! Uh, oh, it's Voltor! It's okay. Oh, it's Seal! Two Pokémon remain on each side. Oh, it blew up! A vicious hit! How oh, he always survives yes, this. It's <laughs> going down. Just one Pokemon remains. I think we're looking here to like oh, it's Kadabra. This is the like last ten minutes Pokemon. slow. I don't know. Usually I would reset if I was doing runs. This is the first time I ever done a marathon, so I don't know how much time I'm actually losing by doing this. Luckily, this is going pretty fast, so... Could this be it? Wham! There are no more remaining Pokémon! And there goes the battle! Who would have thought that I would struggle against Price? I don't think I ever died to Price before. But it is Pokemon after all. The next opponent is Carol, a skier. She's sure to battle with the same grace that she shows on the snow covered slope. Go into battle pose. Last self 
went down as soon as the battle started. Oh my, it's a double knockout. Both Pokemon fainted simultaneously. This puts a whole new spin on the battle. Oh, it's Bulldog! Well, it's Seedra again. I hope I don't miss Thunder this time. Here it comes. Thunder. Thank you. Whoa, KO'd by one hit. There's only one Pokemon left to come out. Oh, it's Delibird. This is the last Pokemon. The number of remaining Pokemon hmm. is two to one. Oh, it blew up! What impressive impact! All right, redemption it time, guys. There. there it is, knockout. Just one Pokemon remains. Oh, it's Kadabra! It's down to the last Pokemon now. It's just one on one now. There! Thunderpunch! That's it! The last Pokemon goes down. And there goes the battle! All right, redemption time, guys. I'll make sure this doesn't happen again. I'm gonna play a little uh, safer. I just didn't think he will, like that will happen to me. I had never lost a run to price before, so like I was a little confusing to me. Challenger will have to be alert for Price's powerful ice Pokemon and their freezing attacks. Okay, same thing, Dawn fan. So we're gonna start with uh, counter. Hit. That was good. I think he's guaranteed to die here. No. Sparks are flying from both competitors. She breaks itself to endure an attack. There's the shot. Yes, it's a hit. There it is. Oh, it collapsed. We're eagerly awaiting the appearance of the next Pokemon. Oh, it's Ursa Ring. Foe is weak. Now's the time to attack. So, since Ursa Ring is the second one, uh, Pal Piloswine is guaranteed for the third. And let's just hope I don't get quick clawed. The number of remaining Pokemon is three to one. You see, this is how it's supposed to go. I don't know what happened last time, but he made me lose a lot of time. This was a lot quicker, as you can see. I just got really unlucky. Okay, now that we're done with Price, we're gonna do Team Rocket now. Okay, 
There's a Pokemon that I haven't used yet that will make his debut in this run. Oh my! Team Rocket has suddenly burst onto the scene! How will their unexpected raid affect the challenger's quest for glory? Alakazam. We're gonna future side him here because he's always gonna Pokemon. switch. He's gonna blow up here. Kaboom! A massive explosion! That didn't accomplish much. Yes, it's going down. The next Pokemon needs to be prepared. The Pokemon and he's gonna get hit by a future side here. So because he got hit by feature side here, I'm gonna earthquake and hope I kill him. <laughs> Which I did. So because he brought out coughing, I could earthquake, but I'm just gonna self-destruct. Because I have to hit a range for earthquake to kill him. But I don't have to hit a range for this. You can see this one is quite long. There's four uh, trainers. So we're used to like seeing just like, you know, three at most. Another rocket grunt wants to battle. How will the challenger respond to this unexpected threat? So we're going to do what we usually do here, self-destruct. If he would have brought out Houndoom, if she would have brought out Houndoom, um, I could have earthquake instead. It's gonna be the second. Oh, it's Houndour. Houndour. Two Pokemon remain on each side. Sparks are flying from both teams. And I'm gonna blow up again. Oh, it blew up! A heavy hit! I said Houndoom earlier, I meant Houndour. Oh, and down it goes! Houndoom is in this, uh, 
segment oh, over not not in this fight Too bad, so we're just gonna hyper beam him. Beam her. And we're good. This one could potentially ruin my run, but it's never happened, but let's not jinx ourselves here. I just hope Muck comes out now. Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> See Muck. Two Pokemon remain on each side. What now? Oh my, the item was stolen. Oh, it blew up. A savage hit. Oh, it collapsed. Oh my, it's a double knockout. File plume, please. <laughs> or someone that's not muck. Okay. It's down to the last Pokemon now. It's just one on one now. This match has come down to the wire. That was scary. Like I was scared that muck would come out. A sharp attack. Yes, it's a hit. There's the shot. Great hit. They're both hanging tough. There it is, Hyper Beam. That's it. Yeah, we're good. There are no more remaining Pokemon. And there goes the battle. Now we gotta fight what I call the skinny Giovanni. He looks a lot like Giovanni, but he's like smaller. <laughs> So he started with Victoryville, so I actually have to swap to Boltor. Switching Pokemon. That Pokemon must not have been the right choice. Oh, 
with Saltor! Here's the first move! Hit! That was good! What impact will this Pokémon Switch have on the battle? will bring out a new Pokémon! Oh, it's Sonfan! <laughs> the number of remaining Pokémon is 2 to 3. It's building up power for its next attack. All these Pokémons have Solar Beam, I'm pretty sure. Hang on, Earthquake! Yes, or maybe Mistrevus doesn't? I'm not sure. I know Houndoom does for sure. And Houndoom is guaranteed to come out here. So we're we're fine, because Houndoom is gonna try to uh, solar beam as well. I love how the FPS just take a huge wow. hit when uh, when they do that. It collapsed with only one hit. Oh, I see. <laughs> There's only one Pokemon left to come up. Oh, it's Mystery Buff. This is the last Pokemon. The number of remaining Pokémon is 2 to 1. A curse was cast! <laughs> oh, it's been cursed! Looks like a uh, Chow now from Sonic. Okay, we're done with that. Luckily, the Nets gym, it, um, if for whatever reason doesn't go the way I want it to, I can just reset it because it's only one. It's only one trainer there. Just gonna do a reversal here. Oh, he's switching anyway. Oh, an Probably steal it. Um, or Mantine. Oh, it's Mantine. Okay, I said Man Mantine. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce most of these Pokemon. Okay, this is good though. So we're gonna counter here. I know he ha she has Magneton, but she could also have Steel It. There you go. So I, I'm just gonna reversal until death. What'll it do? 
And I got critted though. Yes, it's going down. Good Pokemon will uh, now. Okay. Oh, it's Flareon. Two Pokemon remain on each side. Look, Fire Blast! That struck home! Pokemon left to come up. The Pokemon appears with a cross. This is the last Pokemon. The number of remaining Pokemon hmm. is two to one. There's the shot. Oh, that's oh. A oh. It's nice to be on the other side. <laughs> Man, that's I'm usually the one missing thunders. Yeah, that didn't go bad. Another debut here, Star You. Has a lot of uh, options for the Pokemons here. So it's Rhinehorn, so I'm gonna Hydro Pump. Hopefully, it doesn't miss. Should be a one hit. There you go. Since he brought out uh, Hitmontop, I have to switch. Here comes a Pokemon switch. I have to switch the Weezing because he's gonna dig. Oh, it's Weezing. It dug its way underground. How will this Pokemon switch affect the flow of battle? What now? It withstood that easily. Black self destruct. That's some major damage. Oh, it has no strength left. Oh my! It's a double knockout. Both Pokemon fainted simultaneously. This puts a whole new spin on the battle. The Pokeball opens to reveal its Pokemon. Oh, it's speaking! Okay. It's down <laughs> to the last Pokemon now. <clears throat> I gotta rely on Thunder to kill. There you go. Horn drill! Oh wow. If I crit him, it doesn't matter. But I didn't. Will the next hit decide the outcome? A psychic blast! That's a hit! And there goes the battle!
The challenger faces Cian Wood Jin Chuck, a user of fighting Pokemon. Let's hope the challenger doesn't suffer the indignity of an easy knockout. Great starter here. We're gonna psychic prime it. A psychic blast. It went down as soon as the battle started. This battle is here I can I remember I lost a run here. Because Polyrath kept doing something stupid. But at least he came out second here and not last. It's fine. Yes. Um, I don't have a timer up, but it's towards the end now. It corrected its status using a held item. Okay, who's gonna be the last one? Okay. So, Psychic against Machoke, you know, fighting type with to, uh... Weak to Psychic. There are no more remaining Pokemon. That's it. Page clear. That went really well. Okay. Time for Morty. We're coming close to the end of the run here, guys. Since he brought out Dito, I have to actually Earthquake. Otherwise, I wouldn't just like. Oh, wow. it I would have just self destructed. There's the shot. Bam, that worked perfectly. The white hot battle continues. But since, you know, Graveler is weak to Earthquake, earthquake. it's that actually is. just fine. Here we're just gonna self destruct again. It's better protected against special attack. Oh, it blew up! What impressive impact! Down it goes! Oh my, it's a double knockout! And there goes the 
In this fight against Sai, we're gonna debut another Pokemon that we haven't seen in this. Actually, have to shadow ball it. Hopefully, I get a crit here to make things easier. Oh, that's good. Oh no, that Pokemon can't be switched. The heated action continues. Oh no, perish! Pokemon will faint in three turns. Wow, if you shadow ball, thrill no weakness. It hung on by the No shot, dude. <laughs> There's a big That's really unfortunate. Between the two combatants. Really unfortunate. A sharp attack. Right, that's a hit. Yes, it's going down. Pokemon will join the battle now. Oh, it's Haunter! It's a fierce battle. What now? Ah, that Pokemon can't make a getaway. He didn't pass. do curse, so. A furious attack! Ghastly is definitely dying. That was unlucky that oh, Miss like survived that. Number of remaining Pokemon is two to one. There it is, Hyper Pig. Oh, that's a come on, man. <laughs> like, come on, game. There's the attack. <laughs> the hit glanced right off. I was wondering why why I was missing hi I wasn't missing hyper beams. That wasn't really bad, but hey, man, as long as I don't die, I don't care. I just hope it's not grab uh pseudo wood I mean oh the commands are made 
It's okay. There it goes. It's super effective. A massive explosion. Oh, that was weak. There it is. Naka. Will this turn into a one-sided battle? Remaining Pokemon is two to three. Hang on, Earthquake! That had to hurt. Oh, it collapsed! The trainer hasn't issued a command. Sit back now. Okay. The Pokemon have been chosen. Oh, it's coughing! We're gonna explode again here. Teddy Ursa is at two hit KO here. So, but I can finish with Thunder Punch. This, um, this trainer is very, uh, uneventful, I guess you can say. But there is a chance that I could lose Dolphin, but I don't think it's gonna happen. But if it does happen, I have backups for it. I could get burned here. What's the opening game? The hit glance right off. Hang on, Earthquake! Bam! That worked perfectly! Whoa! That was fast! It's down already! Will this turn into a one-sided battle? Oh, it's Diglett! Diglett actually gets one shattered by Earthquake as well, just because of how little health he has, so... There's the attack! You gotta be careful with this magnitudes, man. That's it. That's a major damage. Wow, a single hit brings it down. This has turned into a one-sided battle. Oh, it's Centric. This is the last Pokemon. The number of remaining Pokemon. You definitely died to, to this one. guy here, but I don't know. What will it do? 
Should be fun. Like I said, it's a very uneventful fight. Whitney, though. Whitney. She could become a problem. on Dodrio to start this up there's definitely different routes that she can take here so I definitely have to be ready for whatever the second Pokemon is gonna be Time to spam Psychic here. Stump? What? Stump! Hit! That inflicted some damage! Oh, it has no strength left! Each team has only one Pokemon left for battle! Oh, it's Heracross! This is the last Pokemon! It's just one on one now! What'll it do? Did little damage. Oh, it glitched. <laughs> it's a fierce battle. That's tragic. There's the attack. The hit glanced right off. Awesome counter. Hit that one. How do you survive that? <laughs> Ready to go. What's this? That, oh, was, that was so up. scary. Oh, Dude, no, Ricky, I got flinched twice. Oh my god, do this game. Now one more. <laughs> oh. That settles this battle. Well, that's really bad <laughs> I got flinched twice man <laughs> that's really bad this is gonna this run is 
Officially, like, it was already bad, but now it's terrible because of that. That should have never happened. Uh, I understand one time, but it happened Next twice, man. Like, yeah, let me just flinch you. Yeah, uh, flinch you, like, twice, boss. man. Sorry, guys. This, like, I, I have no words. Like, obviously, I'm as shocked as you guys are. That, that was really unfortunate, like, it's gonna haunt me forever. <laughs> He brought Teddy Ursa now, right? She did. Oh, wow. That's gonna go in the books. or something. <laughs> Every time I do an electric type move, I'm always scared that I'm gonna miss it. Because they miss so much. Probably would have been done with the run already. Like, if that, if um, the prize thing wouldn't have happened in this, like, just really unfortunate. Okay. But that's Pokemon for you. Here's the first move. That was a glancing blow. Hang on, earthquake. Why? How come I'm only getting these crits when they don't matter? Will this turn into a one-sided battle? Oh, it's level ring. The number of remaining Pokemon is three to two. There's the attack. It's super effective. Here's retaliation! Serious damage! It's 
collapsed with only one hit. This has turned into a one-sided battle. Oh, it's Diglett! It's down to the last Pokemon Diglett goes, goes first, right? So I am dying. What's this? No problem, though. We're eagerly awaiting the appearance of the next Pokemon. Oh, it's coughing! The number of remaining Pokemon is two to one. A sharp attack! Ah, that attack just bounced off! I love how it says it's super effective. Oh, that attack just bounced off. <laughs> A massive explosion! A crushing blow! Oh, oh, knockout! Alright, let's just hope I don't get flinched twice. Oh my, and I should be fine for it. Okay, at least I have Miltank okay, here early. Here's the first move. It's with so like, it's not gonna come down to the point where I just, <laughs> where I just gotta rely on not getting flinched. This is good. I hate this fairy type Pokemons, man. They drive me crazy. It appears to be impervious to damage. There it goes. Real no weakness. They're both hanging tough. A sharp attack. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Like, it's just gonna keep happening, man. Like, I just get critted, like... <laughs> There's only one mm. come up. Oh, it's Kadabra! It's down to the last Pokémon now. A hot battle... I don't know what to only. do here. Combat and face each other. A furious attack! <laughs> Okay. Double leg attack. That's some major damage. It managed to hang in there. I think I'm dead. It used its held item to restore HP. Both Pokemon. I think this is really unfortunate, man. A psychic blast. Oh, it has no strength left. 
Because she could either have Clefable or Standler and I, I just die. Like, I can. Yeah, like, this is really unfortunate, like, what's happening to me here in this gym. It's just insane what's happening to me. Like, I just get critted. Like, I'm sorry, guys. This is so bad. <laughs> I can't believe, like, this is happening on this gym. Like, out of any gym that this could happen to, it's happening on one that's relatively safe. It just happened twice in a row. Like, I got stumped and I got freaking... And, and I got a uh, credit, like... Oh my god. I think this run is like... It should just be killed, like... It was going relatively well until now. Next in line are the members of the Golden Hi, how unlucky. First out of the gate is the last Lois. I'm just gonna suspend it after the second one. And if I, um, and I just reset, like, if I have to. Oh my god, I, I just can't believe this. I just can't believe this. Here's the first move. It's not very effective. A massive explosion! A vicious hit! I feel like I've been here for like half an hour. <laughs> so bad. Like, we're literally at the end of the run. Like, every other gym leader after this is like very low risk. And, um, and it's just like, I'm just getting like gate kept right now, essentially. I should have just suspended after it happened the first time. But I didn't think. <laughs> I will get that unlucky to the point where I just oh, die twice. Man. And even then, like, Two Pokemon remain on each side. like, I had a cliff, like, what's it, Wigglytuff, like, I had never seen that Pokemon being brought out. Oh, I mean, sorry, oh, I was gonna say Clefable, no. Wigglytuff that? does come out often, but oh, oh, it's just to get credit, like, it's really unfortunate. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna suspend, go back, or like reset, right? So like, we can just go back to that gym if it happens again. Freaking Pokemon, man. This is the last Pokemon. It's just one on one now. Wow! Heavy hit. It hung on by the skin of course he did. What'll it do? A light hit. Accuracy is down. This showdown appears to be coming to an end. There! Thunder punch! Oh, that's a miss. Oh my what god. <laughs> They're both hanging tough. Is this decided? Out of there! That settles this battle. And there goes the battle! Oh, Whitney. 
Let's hope the challenger doesn't fall under the spell of this. I can't believe I died twice. This is the... My, like. I'm like demoralized now. <laughs> Cause now I'm scared. It's like, it's is this gonna happen again, or is this gonna become like a like common thing? Until today, I had never lost a run to Whitney before. Hang on, earthquake! I'm a like in normal attempts, if you get this far, it usually means that you at least will get the run done. It's like, well, for me, for example, I'm in 8th place, but I can easily get top 5 if I get past, uh, if I get past uh, the lead 4, right? Like, once I get past the lead 4, like, it usually means that the run is, for the most part, safe, but it turns out that I'm having more trouble in Johto than I did in Kanto, and I don't like that. <laughs> Cause now it's it's like like is this something I'm gonna have to be worrying about doing runs from now on? I'm just gonna against Milk Tank. I'm just gonna play a super safe because Milk Tank is like, believe it or not, she's not the reason why I'm losing. <laughs> it's the fact that she can bring Clefable and Sandler. Sandler's at two hit, and so like, I don't know. And uh, Clefable is Clefable, like she just tanks. Or Wigglytuff, sorry. They just tank attacks, so. Okay, third time, third time's the charm, right? Okay, Milk Tank comes in first. That means that Wigglytuff and Sandler are gonna come out. What's the opening gamut? Ah, that attack just bounced off. If I were to crit her here, it would be nice for sure. That's gonna miss. What's this? Oh no, it's not. <laughs> There's the attack. It withstood that easily. Whoa, that was close. There's a big HP difference between the two companies. Why is Miltank surviving all this, man? Like, <laughs> what do I do? Great hit. It just becomes like unbearable at one point, right? At least he's not doing stomp and flinching me. I just can't believe that the reason this is going so bad is because I got flinched twice. Not once, but twice. After like four or five attempts at killing me with that. Oh, it's Dodrio! A hot battle is unfolding! Ow! Drill It's super effective! I'm in trouble again, oh, but if she brought Doldrio, then the last one is Bloom. I mean Bloom. Gloom. Why did I say Bloom? But... I'm in trouble here though, because um, I can definitely get one-shotted by, by Doldrio here. Oh, I could have though. Good. Okay, the run is fine now. 
It's fine. Each team has only one Pokemon left for battle. I finally hit a crit that saved my life. I think that's the first one this run. Gloom can also crit me and kill me, but since I go first... Oh my god, this was a nightmare. What a nightmare. Okay, guys. We're towards the end here. Just bear with me. <laughs> the challenger has advanced to the Azalea Gym. I don't like the Pokemons that he brought out. Pokemon remain on each side. There's the attack. That has to hurt. What now? A light attack. The white hot battle continues. I would I could have used that crit earlier. <laughs> Yeah, this is a terrible like pool of uh Pokemons here. What will it do? It's not very effective. Like none of them are like likely to get one shot. A heavy hit. It hung on by the skin yep. of its teeth. This showdown appears to be coming to an end. What next? Oh, that was weak. Now one more. Pokemon goes down, and there goes the battle! are Twin, Min, and Lin. Don't let the fact that their children fool you. Overcome from here could be disastrous. Is 
So we're gonna do the classic self-destruct first. Since okay. it's not Pikachu, I think I have nothing to worry about. I think that was Jigglypuff, so... Oh my, this is one wild situation. So the next Pokemons are gonna be... Uh, oh, it's it could be Sunker and Ladybug, or it could be Pikachu and Ladybug? I don't remember. Oh, it's Ladybug! Yeah. Two Pokemon remain on each side. Wing attack! So like Scyther is gonna clean up everyone else. Whoa, KO'd by one hit. Just one Pokemon remains. Oh, it's Sunker. It's down to the last Pokemon now. The number of remaining Pokemon is two to one. Finishing blow? Out of there! That settles this battle. And there goes the battle! Oh man. Okay, so Bugsy, while not a very difficult gym leader, he does have like the tendency to like mix things around. Okay. So we're gonna do Surf because he might switch. There you go. He brings Pupitar. So Surf will kill Pupitar. So I think I think we're fine. Down already. Will this turn into a one-sided battle? Oh, it's Beedrill. Okay. So now we're gonna Pokemon switch to Aerodactyl, two. and we're gonna spam Asian this Power. I just survived. What do I do? Oh, that was weak. The white hot battle continues. A show of ancient power. Right, that's a hit. Yes, it's going down. There's only one Pokemon left to come out. It's just side. The Pokemon emerges from its Pokeball. This is it's the a high chance Pokemon. of me of uh, one hit, uh, one shouting uh, Scyther, Whoa. but it's also a small chance that he might survive. There you go. That settles this battle. That's it. Page clear. Okay, last three. This uh, we're towards the end now. Like um, the next gyms are like pretty short, 
So. This was a roller coaster of a run, but we made it, right? We bring you this battle live from the gym leader castle. Will the challenger be able to overcome the waiting trainers and conquer the castle? So Jens has the potential to one-shot everyone here. So this can go pretty fast. The only problem is Hood Hood. Oh, well, or this. I was just gonna get into this. It's not that it causes any danger to me, but it's just wasted. It wastes time, that's all it does. No, the move failed. What Pokemon will appear next? Oh, it's Doduo! It's a fierce battle. The only Pokemon that can potentially survive uh, Ice Punch is Hood Hood. Like I said earlier, um, but it's still a really high chance to to one shot though. It's just a very small like chance of surviving. Good. There are no more remaining Pokémon! And there goes the battle! Alright, we're gonna play Pokémon Stadium 1 now. What do I mean by that? We're gonna bring back... Zapdos for this run. He makes his debut here. He's uh, normally I will use him in Misty as well, but but uh, relying on Zapdos when you're doing a marathon run is pretty bad. What do I mean by playing Pokemon Stadium One? It means that I gotta. Pray that I hit my thunders. Here's the first move. That was a glancing blow. Here it comes, thunder. Okay, that's one out of three. Whoa, that was fast. It's down already. This battle is intense right from the start. The number of remaining Pokemon is three to two. Oh, what's this? Whoop, that miss. What'll it do? Hit, that was good. They're both hanging tough. Whoa! Oh, that hits too! Come on, man. <laughs> what now? Nailed those and I get critted. Yeah, this is definitely Pokemon Stadium 1 right now. Oh, and down it goes. So, what will be the next Pokemon? I'm just gonna play a safe here. Oh, it's weird! Oh, it's Jinx! It's 
the last one is Farfetch, I guess. Oh, it's Farfetch! Yeah. This is the last Pokemon. It's just one on one now. There, ice one. That struck home. Okay, two missed thunders, but we're out of there. Okay, so we're officially done with Johto, and we're, we are 95% done with the run, roughly, I guess. Um, we just need to go back to Kanto to finish one more Gym Leader that we left behind because of how easy it is. You just worry about it later, because I have to go back to Kanto to fight Red to finish the game anyways. So... Gonna fight against Koga's daughter. Should be a pretty quick fight. The opponent this time is Janine of Fuchsia Gym. She inherited her outstanding battle smarts from her father, Koga. Let's see if the challenger Pokemon can withstand the poison here. Both get ready to go. Mean look. Yeah, that Pokemon can't make a getaway now. Last one is probably Santa no Cruel, right? Each team has only one Pokemon left for battle. Oh, it's Santa Cruel! This is the last Pokemon. Then trip. Okay. Hey, hey, it became attracted to the opponent. That's not good. <laughs> They're both hanging tough. This Pokemon is very much attracted by the opponent. Feeling supersonic. Oh, that's a mess. The white hot battle. I love how this gym leaders just like to waste time. Please let me attack. Please let me attack. I, I beg you. I'm confused. I'm attracted. I'm everything. <laughs> She's just like doing everything possible to keep me from attacking. This Pokemon is very much attracted by the opponent. What do that miss. The heated action continues. Finally, oh my god. Get out of here. <laughs> Alright, last, last trainer, guys.
Okay, yeah. Guys, Ugh, this is it. The last battle. Red, the last among the toughest trainers is the opponent. How will the challenger take on a wily veteran who has prevailed for the last battle? Victory is within sight. Go for it. That's a pretty big, uh, pretty good starter. A sharp attack. Yes, it's a hit. Pretty good. Blast! Don't destroy! What impressive impact! Whoa, that was fast! It's down already! Unbelievable! They both go down! Pokemon faces simultaneously. This puts a whole new spin on the battle. Oh, which one of them? Oh, it's Zora! Two Pokemon remain. I'm gonna counter Taurus because he's gonna hyper beam me. You always wanna counter hyper beams in this game. Pokemon remain. Oh, it's for alligator. This is the last Pokemon. The number of remaining Pokemon mm. is two to one. The tenth battle continues. I'm gonna Destiny Bond. What now? A light hit. With it. Sparks are flying from both competitors. No, it is Blizzard. Right, that's a hit. It took the we opponent We did it. <laughs> down it goes. It's taking its opponent down with it. Congratulations. Get ready for time. Uh, time. All right. Well, thank you everyone for watching. That was a roller coaster of a run, but I promise you, it can be better. Uh, this game is definitely one of the most like RNG heavy games. That was uh, that was very tough for my mental fortitude. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching, and if you like what you saw, follow me as I go for world record attempts of this game. It's a grind, but we'll get there. <laughs>